start talking about my idea for my marathon stores. Praise God, praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Come on in here, you guys. Come on in here. I am, how could I say this? Um, God is doing something, and I have to just let him be obedient. I could not rest. You guys know, I don't think you guys hear me. When you have a mandate, a calling in your life, prophetic calling, it's not just about one area. It's not just about churches. It's not just about people. It's about plans. It's about nations. You know, a prophet Elijah, he was a governmental um, prophet. Do you, do you understand what that means? That means that whatever happened, whoever happened, he had to say what he had to say. And I could not sleep lately. And I was like, God, why does this young man keep coming up? What is going on? And God showed me the whole matter. And now I'm going to tell you guys, praise God, praise God. So bear with me because I'm like, wow, these people are evil. I'm talking about Illuminati. They are evil. And to be honest with you, there's some black people involved too. Truth be told. Some of them closest to this man. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Okay. So let me go ahead and tell you what God said. It was definitely a hit. Now, he presumed to be dead when the guy fired on him, right? Now, this was the thing. I was talking to another young prophet, as a matter of fact, today, and he said something, and I want y'all to go back. Now, those that follow me, do you remember when I put the post yesterday about Jermaine Dupri saying that Nipsley looked like Jesus Christ, that he believed that he was Jesus Christ reincarnated, right? Follow me. Y'all got to follow me on this. And he was saying to me today, he said, Deanna, he said, I'm telling you what they're going to do. They're going to try to bring an image of him back because look how many people worship him. Because you do know that the Illuminati plan to give a false rapture about Jesus Christ, right? So I said, man, you're right. So immediately I went into prayer. I was like, you know what? Something is just, God won't let me leave this alone until the whole matter came. And this is the whole matter. So the guy, Eric Holder, they did pick him up. They did tell him to do this. But this plan was bigger than L.A. It was bigger than everything. This is Illuminati. I'm talking about straight from the top. They did not like this young man because he brought positivity. Y'all got to understand me. They did not like him because he brought the gangs together. Now, let's go. We're going to go. We're going. We're going. We're going. Let me tell you something that I know personally. When I lived in California, L.A., all big cities, Chicago, New York, they get a grant, y'all. They get a federal grant, millions of dollars, so say because of the gains. Y'all not listening to me. Y'all better walk with me here. And so I was like, if he's bringing unity, then that down for that money. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all not listening to me. See, these people, they thrive off of gangs. They want them to kill each other. Number one, that's going to high handle that because they don't really like them anyway. Number two, that grant money keeps coming in. We're talking about millions and millions of dollars. And there, anybody can Google it. I promise you'll find out what I'm saying. So I said, okay, so... That's some of the reasons they didn't want him. Not only that, he would not join the Illuminati. Now, I knew that part as well. So I'm saying, okay, so why use this little guy over here to do it? Because they needed to get him as, and present him as if he was dead. N notice what I said, as if he was dead. Then I thought about it. I said, wait a minute. I went back. I looked at the videos. There were no blood. I said, okay, God, there's no blood at the scene. And I started letting the spirit talk to him. I said, wait a minute. It's just like in the movies. Y'all know they use blanks in the movies, right? But they can use blanks as sedatives to make it look like somebody did. That would be no blood, right? And just go along, walk with me. I said, so God, why would they do that? They wanted one thing about the Illuminati. If you have a great voice like uh, Whitney Houston, y'all notice how this girl come in on the scene. I don't know her name, but she sounds like you, Whitney Houston. Y'all know what time it is, right? Well, if you don't know, let me go ahead and tell y'all clone. I said, don't tell me they want to clone this young man, but what purpose? So when he said that Jame that I listened and I heard that Jermaine Dupri said he looked like Jesus Christ, I said, oh my God, are they going to try to do that? Y'all better hear what I'm saying. Do y'all notice how the world came out after this guy? I didn't know him. I don't know if you heard of him. And I said, oh, my God, this is one of the biggest plans and hopes ever that the Illuminati has done. They killed their own and then they do a recession, a procession. Then they honor them. That's how they did everybody. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I said, God, this is crazy. You guys, let me tell you something. These people are real. A lot of people say, well, it's conspiracy theorists. No, it's not. These people hate America. They hate the nation. They hate you. They hate me. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And they planted one of the biggest, I'm talking about genocides ever. 
This is not a game. The biggest Holocaust ever. They want to take America. I, I told you that God, and I heard this through the spirit of God. I heard him say, we will bring America to her knees. You guys, let me tell you something. This is going to happen whether you like it or not. Whether you can't pray it away. You can't wish it away. You can't act like somebody crazy. You can't act like nobody lying. Because God wouldn't put it out there if it wasn't. Because God said, every hidden thing shall come. Come on, somebody. He said, every hidden thing. Every hidden thing. So I believe it. And so I'm telling you right now. That y'all just got to get ready. That's why God puts it out there. God don't put it out there so people, oh, they know the truth. No, so we can all know the truth and prepare ourselves for what's to come. These people are planning the biggest genocide ever. They want new world order. They are already coming together, all the, all the religions. They are already ha hating the churches. I'm talking about why you think there's so much discard in the churches. they got more demon running churches right now than they ever have in history. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. They don't want people Saved. They don't want you delivered. They don't want you anointed. They don't want you to know truth. Come on, somebody. But God said, I got 7,000 in heaven bowed down to Baal. So a lot of people are right. God is using this young man's death to bring out truth. Truth like we have never seen before. And I knew something was wrong because I could not rest. I said, God, wait a minute. He wasn't even saved. So why do you keep bringing him before me? God wanted me to know the whole matter. You guys, let me tell you something. You better be praying in this time like never before. And you know why you should be praying? God, pray that I can stand when it happens. God, pray that I don't fold when it happens. God, pray that I don't take the mark of the beast when it happens. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Because a lot of people are going to be scared. A lot of people are scared. Let's, they don't even want to talk about this. As a matter of fact, they're scared of this kind of truth. I couldn't believe it. So that means, and I'm, I'm bold enough to say it, that means everybody around him knew what was going on. And them people, they scared of them people, y'all. So if them people, they like E.F. Hutton. When they talk, everybody gets scared. Mama, daddy, brother, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And I have to be a bold something to say this. But if God said it, I believe it. And all you got to do is follow the trail. Do the research yourself. And I was like, wow, these people are really crazy. All because he wanted to be positive. Only because he wanted to bring people together. Only because he wanted peace. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So... I'm going to keep it real brief to the point because that's what God said. And I just pray that y'all understand what time it is. These people are not playing, you guys. They never were. Watch your surrounding. Watch plans. I'm talking about they, they even sending in family members. What is family members? They will pay. Every, everything's about a dollar right now. People don't care about God no more like they used to. Everything's about I, I want to be free. I, I, I want to be able to pay this. I want to be able to stunt like this. I want to be able to do this, do that. Everybody's selling out for a dollar. You better test everybody that comes around you. You better test everybody that comes in your face. I used to teach a class, prophetic class, and I used to ask people to tell people that this is what God said. When you meet somebody, Father God, who is this before me? Show me their spirit. Because you see, your mouth can lie all day long. Show me your spirit. Show me their spirit. And did you send them or did they send them? Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. We in these days where they think to deceive you. They think to lie to you. They think to kill you. They're not playing. But I want, to, I want y'all to be encouraged because I know evil is rising, but so is the power of God because God would not reveal anything if it wasn't. He said, I am still God, the God of all things, living and day. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He said, I'm the omega, the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega. Is there anything too hard for me? So I pray that you are encouraged. Don't let nobody scare you. Do not fear. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But you got to also know the truth. And the truth is the truth, whether people believe it or not. So God bless you. God keep you. And I was wondering why Jermaine Dupree put that out. So they setting the stage, y'all. They setting the stage. I said, wow. Wow. So if he wasn't dead, I guarantee you they're going to kill him. Y'all do understand what's going on here, right? Because they need his body as the clone. I'm like, wow. That's why there was no blood at the scene. That's why everything seemed sketchy. Because I'm going to go back. I'll speak on something because I know it was a hit, but I will go back. And if God trouble my spirit, I'll go back. And if you trouble again, I'll go back until I feel peace. Okay, God, this is what you wanted me to see and hear. And I promise you, I'm 50 years old and he ain't never lied. And I doubt if he start now. So God bless you. God keep you. Keep your eyes open. Stay woke, y'all. This ain't, this ain't a game. This ain't a game. They still in people. They sacrificing people more than ever now. That's why people are disappearing. Keep you some mace. Yeah, I'm saying it. Keep you. You know what I'm saying? You better take care of you. Quit walking in with y'all phones, all in y'all phones. You got to know your surroundings. You got to see who around you. You got to watch everything. This is real. It's not to put you in fear, but this is wisdom. 
All right. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon rolling out. God bless you. Stay awoke. Roll out soldiers for this is who you are. God bless.